The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Door. Today, we do have a very special guest, Mr. Alan Lilly. Okay, so for those <laughs> who don't know how Unhinged works, I will share my screen. We'll sh pop up some door fails, some poor installs, some code violations. Got some doozies today. And we throw out any helpful tips, and then we'll give the, a knocking score. One being not too knocking bad, like, hey, I understand why you put this up here benji but like it's not really that bad but then 10 being really bad let's let's get alan involved and <laughs> coding compliance let's let's call the ahj let's get the fire marshal in and uh, get this fixed right away <laughs> okay how does that sound you guys ready sounds great oh my there's a lot going on here okay so this is the the inside and the outside of the same same opening no, so no, the one on the left is a different retail shop got like food court and it opened up into this common hallway right here. And then right there is an actual retail shop. And that's this door right here. You can see the same mannequins right here are okay. the same, same people hanging up over here. Got it. Okay. So the one on the one on the left here, obviously we're looking at the push side of the door. I hope there's nobody that's short that needs to block that up. I mean, that variable to the top there is, you know, I'm six and a half feet tall. That would, that would be just fine for me. But yeah, you know, I, I, like I said, I hope there's nobody, I hope there's nobody that's, that's, you know, under six, under six foot trying to do that. First thing I see is that looks like a double key deadbolt, like double sides. So I can just lock people in kind of at will. I see really small mullions in the glass. So a lot of hardware for something that is just going to fall apart under a moderate breeze. I appreciate the plate on the bottom that feels yeah like that, aftermarket. Is, that, is that actually does that kick plate actually sit higher than the bottom like than the bottom rail is it actually taller it looks like it, it looks like it overlaps a little bit but i yeah, believe it's it just just under under it. yeah so a lot a lot going on there like i understand the point but i also don't understand the point like, if you're going to go through yeah. this level to make something secure then just put a better was the all, I mean, go ahead. Uh, well yeah i was just gonna say like the, the glass looks like it's probably just plates it's unlikely to be laminate. You, you can see it's already cracked down here. Yeah. Maybe that's, well, that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right? Yeah, that's it's, what I was going to ask. Yeah, is that, you know, it's cracked. It's, is that, is that the glass or that's the floor? That's the glass. Is that... Oh, actually, that might be the floor. That might be the that's floor. The, that's the floor where the leading edge of the door is. Oh, the that's the door that's dragging on the hallway. So I'm guessing that this was designed, I'm guessing this was designed to open up all the way. And then at some point they said, no, we'll just open this one center, this one center panel. Because I, yeah, it looks like, I mean, otherwise it's just baffling baffling design that doesn't make a lot of sense and really heavy closer for what looks like a fairly light door yeah it, it yeah, looks that's, that's that looks like bigger than sc 6 but it looks like it's a bit sorry yeah so it's a really heavy closer for that side for, for what was probably a like a 40 pound door i feel, like, probably, I, could, I feel like i could blow really hard on this door and do some damage you know like yeah i could yeah, huff, yeah. huff and blow this door open I, except yeah. for i guess maybe it's dragging a little bit so maybe i'd have to push pretty hard to get out of this door yeah well i mean the fact that it's dragging there tells me that it's probably like it's you know the it looks like it's just hinged to the hinged to the next panel which may have at one point not been fixed and probably is now yeah it kind guessing, of looks like it opened up a, another yeah it opened yeah. up a little further and then it, like the, the closure is definitely an aftermarket it's definitely an afterthought same with that uh, same with that barrel bolt on the top right like that i'm guessing that 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 extra ledger board there was again was an afterthought and again kind of hard to tell from the picture but it looks like there's only the screws holding it in yeah there's a couple missing screws so the latching side of the bolt has less screws that's the side that you want the most screws in right like you would think you would think so yeah there's i mean it probably meets the definition of single motion egress except for the fact that it's dragging on the ground so you know a for effort like a c minus on the design so where's that that's like an eight on the an eight knock on the knock scale yeah 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 and then i really i really don't like double key deadbolts right keyed on both sides it, it really irks me although i will say there was one time when i had i was called to walk out it was called by the bailiff to walk out of business and i went and i showed up with my picks and they had installed a double key deadbolt but they installed it backwards so i didn't need to pick the door open i just needed to undo the screws and push it through and then unlock the door and turn it around the right way and reach so it the, back the, there, so. the emergency screws were on the outside yeah oh, okay <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So that one, that that's the one time that it really worked out in my favor. But generally, generally, I don't like that. The fact that they've got the double key deadbolt is is kind of part and parcel to, to, to the volume of glass that's there. But by the time I break one pane of glass to access the deadbolt, I'm just walking right through that door. There's there's nothing really holding it shut. But we you hear the term you hear the term security theater kind of being thrown around. This makes it look like it's locked. It makes it look like it's secure. It might, might make you feel better when you're going to bed at night. But there's not a lot of security happening here. So might... this is Go an ahead. indoor market, right? Yes. 
So the storefronts don't necessarily need to be super secure, right? Because there's an external door that's locked. Yes, but they want it secure from other tenants maybe or right. other have access, yeah. But the fact that they have that lock up top tells me that the double cylinder is the wrong application here, right? They should have a thumb turn on the inside because they clearly need to lock it on the inside sometimes without having a key. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. and you have to be this tall to- <laughs> To uh, ride this ride. To ride this ride. <laughs> and that's a pretty hefty bolt up there as well. Like that, I I could like for such a flimsy door, that's that's like a sizable bolt. There's, there's no thrill like overkill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the icing on the top of the cake would be if there was an exit sign above this. So technically, I don't think this was on the path of egress, but it was being used. We used it to go out the hallway to another store, but it wasn't technically a path of egress, which would have but been. Is it, is it part of common? Is it, is it a common knowledge path, though? Right. Is it? I came in that door because that's the door. That's the, the public facing door. It or is could it be. Yes. Is it a secondary. The, like, this is like a, a side hallway, and there's another. There's another door that goes up to a bigger hallway. So the food. It's a food market on the bottom floor, and then it's like a eatery on top. And this is on top. So most people are entering through the bottom door and then going up the stairs or the elevator to the second floor. And this is on the second floor to the the whole market. Yeah, okay. it's hard, hard to explain. So it could be considered like, I mean, people were coming in and out of this door, but they were also going back downstairs to the market. Okay. So there's an argument to be made there that because it's common knowledge and it's an expected path of travel that I would expect in an emergency to be able to get through that door. Mm, good good so, insight. Do you think there's times of low e low occupancy where they close off the upstairs completely? Oh, I, I'm sure they probably don't open up the food cart court as early as they open up the grocery store, like the like the actual market downstairs. So I'm guessing they do probably have this locked during business hours, I guess, where the top section is closed off. That would make sense. Well, maybe that's why it's up so high to discourage the young rapscallions from running amok. So that was the first door. But then peering through that, there's this whole other fun door that like you would probably just walk by and that's i think why they put the sign on there that some creative merchandising going on so are these the spools first. mounted to the door like yes. all the red spools <laughs> okay. yes so they are on the door i should have went up and like opened up that door i i, I regret not doing it. next time i go to this market i will but uh I'm, yeah i'm no, guessing it's kind of the, kind of the same setup it looks like looks like it's the same the same type of door it looks like it's not rubbing quite as badly on the bottom because it looks like there's a threshold there but the thing that really jumps out at me on this one and the thing that bugs me the most is that the deadbolt and the latch are, or the deadbolt and the knob are on the same center line i've been focused on that since you put this up here and i <laughs> just like your eyes twitching a little bit it, it, it hurts me it hurts me on the inside yeah you're right though i would walk right by this nothing here indicates that this is a door to use pull it's on the, door it's like the side quest in a video game like you, you gotta find the you gotta find the <laughs> hidden passage and yeah. you keep pushing keep pushing on the bricks in like you can do from my childhood and Yes. <laughs> and eventually one of these, oh, hey, wait a second. This actually does something. But normally you see a sign and it's like, this is not a door. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like we're open. Yeah. Like I would have seen a, like the sign to me, like the fact that there was a sign there would have said it like in my brain, it would have given me an indication. Don't go here. Do not go yes. to this opening. <laughs> I, yeah, I would have looked at that. I would have looked at this. I wouldn't have read what's, what, what was on the sign. And I would have said, oh, they want me to use another door. And I would have wandered right. around, not found another door. And then been far too frustrated to actually bother going back to this one and just moved on with my life. Yeah, yeah. But no, in all Definitely. honesty, based on the stuff that's hanging on the door, I probably wouldn't be looking too hard to get in there in the first place. But that's me, you know, my preference. I you know, also they, would they, not. They just had this extra thread and spool that they just needed to put somewhere. And, uh, you know, like, why not use this open retail space right there like you people are walking by they get to see all my flashy colors it's welcoming it's it makes I, you look closed <laughs> i had i had a, i had a boss that, that used to look in the back of my my work van and he would say it looks like 10 pounds of poop in a five pound box that's exactly what this tells this is actually what this reads to me as i need you to go back here because
because I need to know what the other side look, look looks like. Like, how do you get out? Well, there's yeah, stuff right inside too. Like, it's, it looks like you right. gotta go in, do a little like slide to the left. It, it, there's gotta be a whole like time warp kind of dance here going on to me to to actually get through here. Yeah. And I think we could, I think we could, you know, set up some sort of flash mob and and have ourselves a time. Just like <laughs> here's how you get in here. It's a, it's a jump. It's a hop forward and three hops left and two hops forward and one right. And, <laughs> It's like the laser room, like when yeah, the, there's yeah. all the laser beams. And you've got to... But I do like the time warp reference. I love that movie. So, yeah. No. yeah so not not too knocking bad, a little bit more unusual and just like, like why? No, no, no. The the, off, the offset back sets are like 10 out of 10 bad. I, I just can't, I can't handle it. it it's probably it, it, in most, in, in the, the highest probability, that knob doesn't actually have a latch in it. And it's just a surface applied pull. And this is just what they had to make it, to make a pull out of. And I respect that, but put it on center. And and I wonder if the, I mean, that's really close to that window pane as well. Like, like why wouldn't you want to just scooch it over a little bit? Or like, is there something going on with that window pane down here? Like, or the knob is originally there and they added, it kind of looks like they added the deadbolt afterwards. That's the more likely scenario. Mm -hmm. yeah it's still wrong and it's bad and i don't like it and 10 right there because of that. <laughs> just, just because of that alone aesthetics rate cool high stuff. yeah i, I just I, I can't i, I just can't <laughs> I, I like that i like that a lot it's i i'm a fairly easy to please person that is one of the absolutes that was that was the line it, no, it, the line. it takes that, that, that line. far to get off the line across the it, line it might only be a quarter inch but that's enough you know what i don't understand is in the first picture if you look to the left it looks like they've put an aluminum storefront frame in yep is that an aluminum not? storefront or is that a or is that, a, is that a, like a vending machine no no it, all the way to the left there's like another entrance oh. right Oh yes, that to a different store. Yeah, that's aluminum storefront. Like, why couldn't they just? So, why, why so not somebody continue? else recognized that this was a horrible setup and did something different. Right. We just didn't. We just haven't carried it on the rest of the way yet. Yeah. No. yeah they, they, and I get. They probably want the kitschy feel. Like I get it. It's probably like some sort of a historical building would be my guess. Looking at the the oak floors and stuff, but you, safety you doesn't have to be historical. <laughs> Yeah, just the, I, I thought it was a quirky, quirky kind of setup. Yeah. Quirky is a good word for that. Yeah. <laughs> quirky. It's Portland, Askew. right? It's a, this is actually Eugene, oh. a little bit farther south, which is still very quirky. Eugene is very quirky. Okay. Does it does it deserve a knocking score? Should we give it official? I, I think Alan's set on the 10. So Mia, what do you think? <laughs> Not knowing the whole building and everything, but I feel like the occupancy here is generally kind of low. And the, so I don't know if we're running a lot of life safety risks. I'm well, in the like, life safety risks. You just walk through the glass and then you're out. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even take Mr. Kool Aid that like like anyone can walk through that. <laughs> I think I think I'm in like the the five ish range. I mean, definitely things need to be addressed. Like they've got wrong applications, and really they should just be replacing the whole opening the, these are little little band-aid fixes to try to resolve a much larger issue systemic uh, issue here yeah i agree okay so not not too knocking bad but not not great not great to look at okay you guys ready for the next one if you want to be featured on a future episode of unhinged or if you have some pictures to submit you can leave us a note below or you can email me at mia at door